Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from our channel, Engine Nation. In this video today, we tell you everything we know so far about the new upcoming Tesla electric van. But before we do, make sure to stay tuned with us until the end. It's gonna get very exciting. Let's begin. Tesla isn't even competing with other companies any longer. They're simply outdoing themselves with each brilliant innovation. In today's episode, we go over all the known facts about the insane Tesla van, as well as what it means for Tesla and other automakers. Keep watching until the end to learn what it means for the US government and companies like Mercedes and Amazon. A brief overview of the Tesla van. Tesla has a long list of products in the works. This hectic schedule could be the deciding factor in whether or not you succeed. The Tesla Semi, Tesla Roadster, Tesla Cybertruck, the Plaid Powertrain and potential compact car and now the modified Model S and X are among the company's long list of upcoming vehicles. Electric vans and last mile delivery vehicles have become a hot topic in recent months and we expect the trend to continue in light of President Biden's decision to electrify the entire US government vehicle fleet. The decision to source the vehicles from an American manufacturer was a big part of that announcement and we've seen GM, Rivian and Ford all come up with electric van solutions. What about Tesla though? After all, Tesla is the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer and it's based in the United States. It seems as if it was meant to be. When an institutional investor brought it up during Tesla's fourth quarter earnings call on Wednesday, CEO Elon Musk popped that particular balloon. When asked if Tesla would follow through on previous statements that the company would build an electric van, Musk said no, at least for now. Musk confirmed that Tesla will make an electric van in the future, but that cell production, like the Tesla Semi and a slew of other projects, is holding it up. Tesla is working with its battery partners and its own battery manufacturing facility to increase the number of available cells, but that remains the bottleneck for the time being. Will Tesla reverse course and refocus its resources as it did with power wall production during the Model 3 ramp? We'll find out once the federal contracts begin to be awarded, even for a tech company that doesn't say. That's a lot to take on. However, if you're an optimist like us, you'll hope that the company's busy schedule will help it unveil the long-awaited Tesla van. Musk has pleasantly surprised us at every turn, and it's not far-fetched to believe that their van will soon be on our roads. Plus, as he previously stated, plans are in the works. Elon Musk speculated on Twitter in 2018 following the release of the Mercedes electric sprinter van that it might be interested to work with Daimler, Mercedes on an electric sprinter. This isn't impossible because Musk and Daimler have worked together before when Musk provided charging technology and lithium ion charging packs for a Daimler electric vehicle. Daimler also purchased a $50 million stake in Tesla in 2009, which it later sold for $780 million. These talks are happening. Dieter Zitscher, the former chairperson of Daimler, told Bloomberg in 2019. The outcome is open, he added. We have yet to see a blossoming relationship after two years. This, however, hasn't deterred Musk's plans for the Tesla van. Musk finally revealed two areas where Tesla will go all electric during the Tesla Master Plan Part 2, heavy duty trucks and high passenger density urban transportation. In addition to consumer vehicles, two other types of electric vehicles are required, heavy duty trucks and high density urban transportation, he said. Both are still in the early stages of development at Tesla and are expected to be unveiled next year. We believe the Tesla Semi will significantly reduce the cost of cargo transportation while also improving safety and making it a lot of fun to drive. Tesla has since unveiled the Tesla Semi, a heavy duty truck, but we have yet to see what this urban transportation system will look like once any progress is made. But Musk also stated that an electric minibus based on the Model X would be released, but this information is currently unavailable. Another project that made the news was Tesla's ambition to build a van-like passenger contraption for Musk's boring company. However, instead of the potential vans, the tunnel building startup is using existing Tesla vehicles for its transit system. So what about the Tesla van with all of these projects going on at Tesla? The Tesla van's difficulties at Tesla's annual fourth quarter earnings release in 2020, Musk was asked about making an electric van. It was a natural reaction, given that a number of automakers had announced plans to enter this market. 
Elon Musk responded that the company's plans for an electric van are still in the works. People must, however, take into account the scale of production, as well as the limitations of batteries. I think Tesla is definitely going to make an electric van at some point, he said in person. The important thing to remember is that battery cell output is fundamentally limited. If you've never worked in manufacturing, it's difficult to comprehend how difficult the scale of production is. It's the most difficult thing on the planet. Prototypes are simple to make. Scaling up production is extremely difficult. He also mentioned that the semi is facing similar challenges and that once the batteries are installed, the company should be able to produce its products more quickly. The 4680 cells in the battery we've discussed, the unveiling of Tesla's 4680 battery cells in previous videos. Musk admits that no major mass production of any potential vehicle will take place until the company ramps up its battery production. Even so, Musk believes he will require additional batteries from Panasonic and LG. The cells are tabless, lithium-ion cells that will be unveiled at Tesla's Battery Day presentation in 2020. Following the announcement, it was revealed that Tesla would begin producing them at their Fremont, California battery factory. According to Musk, any vehicle that isn't an SUV will require more batteries. First and foremost, they are delivery vehicles with mid to long range delivery routes. Second, they're supposed to have similar driver assistance and auto drive features. Tesla needs five times the number of battery cells for the semi than it does for the sedan. But it can't realistically sell the truck for five times the sedan's price. The semi-finalist, the main reason we haven't accelerated new products, like Tesla Semi, is that we simply don't have enough cells for them, Musk said. We could easily go into production with the semi if we made it like this right now, but we don't have enough cells for it right now. When we start mass producing the Tesla 4680, we'll have enough cells for the semi. Apart from cell supply, we don't see any issues with building a compelling long range truck with batteries. It kind of wouldn't make sense for us to do the semi, he added, referring to our much anticipated electric van. But it will absolutely make sense for us to do it as soon as we can address the cell production constraint. A van would be the same. What can you expect? The cat's out of the bag. The sooner we see the 4680 batteries, the sooner we'll see the electric van, semi, cybertruck and other futuristic vehicles. Don't forget that electric vans and other light duty trucks will be the preferred mode of transportation in the coming decade. For example, the United States government has a new Buy America plan that aims to reduce global pollution. And because charity begins at home, Biden's administration plans to replace its fossil fuel fleet with an electric car fleet in the near future. It doesn't end there either. When compared to other modes of transportation, delivery vehicles, for example, are the biggest energy consumers. This means that electrifying them will have an impact on the environment, albeit a positive one. Many automotive companies have announced their participation in the electric vehicle movement in 2020. Various businesses have begun to develop plans to electrify heavy-duty trucks, vans, sedans, and everything in between. Amazon, the world's richest company, plans to have 10,000 electric delivery vans by 2022, in addition to the US government. The company will unveil its first personalized van in 2020. Rivian will also deliver 100,000 delivery vans to them, each with Alexa pre-installed and pre-programmed routing software. UPS has also announced the purchase of 10,000 electric vans from Arrival, a British startup. By 2024, the vans will be delivered and UPS will award Arrival hundreds of millions of dollars each year. BYD, a company known for its electric buses, debuted its electric truck earlier this year. At a top speed of 65 miles per hour, the truck has a range of about 125 miles and its battery recharge is just two hours when using a high-speed direct charging system. When using the standard 240 volt charging system, it charges in 14 hours. Rivian, Arrival and BYD are just three of the companies on the list, which also includes heavyweights like Volvo, Daimler, Nikola Motors, Ford and Tesla. So does this imply that we'll be going electric? Tesla was not the first to introduce electric vehicles. In fact, the technology is years old. On the other hand, Tesla did for electric cars what KFC did for chicken. It improved, sleeked, and made them more marketable. For the first time, we're seeing true competition in an area that many had dismissed until Musk founded Tesla. 
However, as hopeful as we are, the Tesla van may not be on our roads for another two to three years. Do you believe other companies will be able to outperform Tesla? That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.